Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back. This is your host Harita. Today we have founder of Veda Samskriti Foundation and yoga trainer Acharya Gopi ji. Hello, Gurugar. Namaste. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, so, Guruji, uh, you have been doing so many activities regarding uh, yoga, and you have also conducted so many uh, classes for children and also adults. So, are there any upcoming events about yoga? Yes. Just like every year, the most awaited. summer camp is here yes, yes. we are announcing the dates for this uh, season 2024 summer okay um so from april 21st to may 26th okay uh, we have uh, decided the dates and the very proudly the proud program of with sanskrit yoga foundation or that what we have been doing gurukul elite learning program why 365 days why not just 36 days okay so uh, the camp starts from april 21st and ends by may 26th so gopi ji what is exactly gurukul elite learning program yes as i said it's it's a learning program and the word that we are using initially gurukul what is gurukul gurukul uh, the ancient education system in india earlier all children used to go to guru for learning learning various things okay. Uh, so nowadays it is not possible for everybody to go to gurukul and learn all this yes. we have got modern education here uh, the impact of modern education or the, rather we should say the effect of uh, modern education we are not able to learn certain inside things that are really required for the life okay. uh, we are experiencing so many problems in life basically about stress our relationships or many things like we don't understand how to handle our own emotions all these things so when you go to guru or gurukulam uh, they not only teach the outside things like physics chemistry biology these things along with that they do teach the inside education which is about the self basically how to manage self the the, the complex systems that we have inside uh we call it in english mind but actually it is uh, manas chitta buddhi ahankara uh, you know very clearly they have defined so guru actually gives the, the def- definition of all these how to uh, put them in order how to use them for your own uh, growth and benefit all that so the gurukul where the child goes to guru okay. and then kula is where the the family uh, itself um uh, gurukul elite learning program it's a learning program on uh, very uh, top notch rather we should say like we have regularly also learning happens but how does the learning happen we should say like child goes to school a lot of time is spent on traveling preparing and a uh, uh, lot of time is spent on taking attendance yes. doing this doing that but what is the actual learning time is the big question over there yeah. but you know it is not about how much time are you spending it is about how impactfully how much are you learning in short term so here uh, it's like very uh, like the children spend very little time about 36 days in this but yet they learn profound things okay uh, so many things okay you mean Inside, there are, you mean are there any ancient methods for this yes okay so here uh we have taken one technique we have borrowed one technique from vedas the way how the children learn or the ancient students used to learn vedas the same technique we are applying here on academics okay there is lot of beauty with this by applying this uh, technique here um the our children they will be able to complete their entire year academic syllabus in just 36 days wow so you may ask how is it possible <laughs> Yes, of course. May I know how it is possible? Yes, it is possible. I will explain to you in short. You know, in 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 four steps. Sure. Ah, uh, there are four steps that we follow here. Um. So if you look into the ancient academics or the ancient way of learning, ah, uh, the Vedas, the Upanishads, all the things, ah, uh, they used to be there in the form of slokas. Okay. Mostly they were all uh, sutras or. slokas mm-hmm. you go to yoga yoga darshana there are 196 sutras or most of the knowledge is imbibed lot of knowledge in small sutra okay uh, so you go to any guru uh, they give the description or they go on giving the discourses by taking only one single shloka from bhagavad gita they can continue to say for 
days and days, months and months on uh, elaborating that particular sloka, okay. which means lot of knowledge is, uh, you know, hidden or the insight of the things is so much. So, uh, how did they do? How could they do it? They were so experts in the, uh, the, in the, uh, the language. Okay. First, initially, the child used to learn the Sanskrit and uh, the meanings of everything, how to form the words, how to make everything. It is very scientific language, actually, uh, Sanskrit. Yes. So, they used to keep lot of maximum information in short form. Okay. So, right now, we have the textbooks. So, how are these textbooks? Very big. Okay. Right? We have 300 pages, 400 pages. Or you talk about IIT or JE or NEET, anything. They are getting books. This means <laughs> like so much big, big size. So many textbooks. So much, so much to read. Portion, syllabus. Teachers are worrying in one side that, oh, it is not yet completed. Child is also other side. Lot of things to do. So, here then uh, our Guruji did lot of work actually. Okay. Uh, Guruji Sri Rishi Prabhakar, where uh, I used to be with him. He did a lot of research on uh, academics, education, how to apply the yogic principles onto uh, various aspects of life. Okay. One of the things that he did was uh, the academics part. So, using these techniques, I will briefly explain how these, uh, these, uh, these four techniques work and how we will be able to complete the syllabus in, um, um, uh, in 36 days. Okay. So, now a question to you. What is the difference between reading a comic, storybook or a newspaper and reading a subject textbook. Suppose say like a child is reading a textbook and at the same time or you know at, at the time a comic, a storybook or a newspaper. Reading what is the, the difference? Reading a comic or a storybook it's completely you know entertaining for the kid because he will imagine the character, his superhero character. But reading a textbook the, every child will feel like okay it's the subject. Uh, it's not like interesting, uh, whatever. Uh, they will feel in this way. Perfect. Right? You said halfway, right? I will also add some more things. Okay. So that it will become full. Sure. First of all, then we have to question why? Why does the child read textbook? Mm -hmm. Why does the child read a comic or a newspaper or a storybook? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to textbook, why does the child read textbook? Because there is an exam tomorrow. Yes. Or, you know, if I don't get marks, teacher may say something or parents may beat okay. or this, that or I should get first mark because Papa said if I get first mark, then I will get bicycle or something or whatever it is. So, what is in child's mind? What is the instruction the child passing to the brain before starting uh, to read the textbook is, I must remember whatever I study, then only. Because the, the beginning points its point itself either with fear and out of that fear or stress. Oh, what will happen if I don't get marks? Okay. And if I don't get this rank? Yeah, what of course, is my every life? student will have that exam fear. Lot of fear. Yes. Lot of fear. So, how to overcome that fear of exam? Uh, which we, we, we actually do a workshop on this basically to the children. Okay. Uh, so, using those principles, Either they, are, they have the fear and with fear, they naturally have the stress. Yes. Because a lot of, you know, many times teacher, they, they, they say that, hey, what, you know, if you don't get marks in 10th standard or if you don't get marks in 12th standard, your life will become a waste. You will, you will not be useful for anything. This, that, they inject so many things. On the other side, in society also, that is how we are treating. Uh, what rank are you getting? How is it? Everywhere they ask about, uh, you know, marks, 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 marks. Nobody is worried about child's happiness. Yeah. Whether the child is happy or how is he doing in other things, nobody wants. Everybody wants to see the child only through the marks, yes. which is a wrong thing. Uh, we, it is a wrong system. We cannot judge anybody just by marks. They will actually judge their uh, performance. Performance is most important. What they are able to do, whether they are able to live their life happily or they are able to do the things or not. But these are the important things. Okay. So now coming back to the thing. So whenever they are reading the textbook, they are reading because they have some compulsion that I must do it, I must remember. Then they, they are doing it. And on the other side, they are reading comic or a storybook or a newspaper. You know, you tell the child to read a newspaper and ask what is the news. Will the child able to say or not what is the news? Or to ask the child like you read the storybook, tell me the story. Will the child say or not? Yes. Or the comic. So they are reading all these things only one time. 
yet they are able to reproduce and they are able to tell what they read yes. instantly but this textbook whole year yes. so many times teacher is teaching and going to tuitions going to bijus going to this going to that yet it is a horrible thing or difficult most difficult thing in the world yes. why what is the difference when they are reading textbook there is no freedom mm-hmm. when they are reading comic story book or newspaper there is lot of freedom okay. everybody wants freedom in life and ask anybody you know whoever is going to work or whoever is doing business these that and everything they most of the people they feel that they have been caught up and they are forced to do the work they don't like to work but yet they have to work because there is no other way so most people you know strive for this freedom even children why they don't why they don't allow me to do this why they are telling me all the time why can't i just do whatever i want all these things actually what they think is also that freedom is different from what i am talking so in one area there is no compulsion there is no force there is nothing they are free out of freedom they are doing and the result the action that you are performing out of freedom is yielding more result than you know you got caught up and then you are fearful afraid and doing something have to must this is actually applying the spirituality here okay you know in gita it is very clearly said bhagwan says karmanya vadikaraste ma phalesh kadachina you just perform your activity whatever the result come it will come don't expect anything yes. so when you are not expecting anything naturally you are getting like the interest the thing uh, the, ma, uh, the the what you read everything you are able to remember output is more and you are expecting so much that i should get i should get a lot of expectation here that out of i must become this i must out i must compete all the people lot of things you you have complicated the process yes so now what is our work if you can make uh, the textbook like a comic the learning becomes joyful yeah easy effortless so we call it effortless learning effortless speed reading so this is first step that we incorporate in this uh, system that how to train children to approach a textbook like a comic or a story book okay this is the first training we have some principles where we we, we since uh, we are uh, yoga teachers and meditation experts uh, we play uh, how to, we we know how to train how to get the mind to this state okay so using all the yoga techniques that meditative reading happens usually when the child is reading a textbook they read about you know maybe 5 6 pages 10 pages per hour is very Hardly. difficult Yes. because you are telling that boy or girl to hey read 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 he looks like this and then you are telling hey read 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 then he wants to uh, see this and then do like this or you know you he will tear the paper okay. so many distractions while they are sitting for the reading it is very difficult for them to focus yes. but on the other side we have the meditative speed reading just think or guess how many pages per hour can the child read using this technique normally i said it is 5 to 10 pages per hour if they read it is you know more that we are feeling now in this you you just go ahead and guess okay. how many how many pages they can read using this technique maybe 10 to 15 in the beginning itself the first time itself they will read anywhere between 40 to 50 pages per hour oh. and as the master this effortless speed reading they read about 100 to 120 pages per hour Wow. once they master this okay so now we have the textbook of 200 300 pages so we ask the child to okay now you read this textbook like a comic or a story book so it's all about 200 300 pages how much time how much time do you want hardly 2 hours 3 hours so they read the entire textbook in 2 to 3 hours like this they repeat uh, for 3 4 times within couple of days they read the entire textbook about 4 to 5 times okay it is not just one time 4 to 5 times repeatedly they read the textbook like a comic but here there is one important thing that we do some kind of screening test before we take any child why you know it is not important for the child to read just like that it is also important to see how much the child is able to understand from whatever he or she is reading 
you know you may give me the the you know maybe the the high court lawyer or some law book to me i will read what it is i'll read but since i know how to read english i will continue to read but it does not mean that i am understanding what is mentioned in that book correct it is the same case same case you take uh, uh, you know a final year uh, mbbs book you will be able to read but you don't understand what is there okay similarly when the child is reading is the child able to understand what is there in textbook that is one important benchmark yes. test that we do so if the child is able to understand about at least 60 to 70% then the child is welcome we will take them for this uh, camp okay uh, they are all uh, eligible to do the go through this process okay. so um, once this is done these children they read the entire textbook about four to five times like a storybook comic then in the second phase i mean this is part a in step 1 part b all lessons have got questions at the end of the lesson okay. usually right then we say okay now you read you read about four five times just go to that questions just read the question close your eyes and think for the answer check out whether you are getting the answer or not so we call it answer in the mind first time first time in the child's life we see lot of energy bright face happy face looking at the child face itself we can say whether the child is able to do it or not because when they are going through this answer in the mind process say like if the 10 questions are there out of 10 they are able to get the answers for 8 to 9 questions so child is so happy now oh, these things i have been struggling with these things for oh, all so many years but i am not getting here instantly i am getting answers for everything what a magic it is so this is working for me oh, okay child gets that confidence so let me see what it is now the child will come and ask uh, acharya what is the next step or sir what is the next step please tell in all other times we have to tell child that hey you read 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 force but here you please tell what is next child is asking okay so when child wants to do it they will do it yes they will do it very easily and we our burden our our headache they will they will happily do it happily do it most important thing well well thing uh, great thing you said uh, simply doing is not important yes. or forcefully mechanically doing is uh, horrible doing happily is most important yes so th- they will pick that so in case if they don't get one or two questions uh, answers over there no problem it is just two days you just go back to the same paragraph once again see the question and get the answer over so they will get it they will complete the first step is completed here okay okay guru ji it is really impressive and as a mother especially i am very much interested about your program and may you know like uh, is is this the first time that you are doing or you have already done it earlier well uh, we have been doing it from past 15 years okay so my first camp uh, you know i did it in 2011 okay. near siddipet okay uh, then 2012 of course also in siddipet 2013 in hyderabad then 14 15 in bangalore in various places i have been doing it and prior to that also uh, the uh, the organization where i was working earlier they have been doing it from past 30 years actually okay um so it's not first time for us to do it at least i did camps uh, summer camps for 2 to 3000 children oh okay yeah from all uh, these years okay it is very sure that the response would be really great because every parent want their kids to see very happy right every every parents want their kids to read everything happily in a happy manner perfect in fact last year what happened was we could not uh, i mean uh, fulfill or serve everybody who came to us uh, oh. we got about 482 application forms who are uh, who were willing to send or who wanted to really send their children okay. but due to the uh, the place accommodation uh, or you know the limitation okay. uh, we could not uh, do i mean we could not take all the children in uh, we did the camp for about 260 children okay hopefully this year we will be able to do it for 300 children okay uh, so gopi ji uh, coming to the academics part that you have said uh, there there are four different types and you have said uh, speed reading is one of that may i know what are the remaining three steps could be yes very nice so the first step is effortless speed reading that you heard about uh, uh, meditative reading and answering in the mind and the next step is uh, organizing okay now what is organizing okay you are a mother and you are a homemaker i'll ask you a question what is organizing how do you keep your home 
uh, I, I'll keep it organized, but every kid cannot do that, right? Kids are just like that. They can't organize things easily. Right. But okay. It's, it's a tough job for a mother or a father to make their kids be organized. Perfect. So now the simple thing is like when the things are organized, how do they look like? When it is unorganized, how do they look like? Like, you know, as you are a mother, homemaker, when house is properly organized, everything is kept well, how do you feel? And when things are here, there, everywhere, scattered and then this, that, how do you feel? Okay, if it is organized, it will be pleasant and good and with good mood. And if it is not organized, uh, it will be, you know, a little disturbing or irritating. Like this. Not just that, I'll, I'll tell you a few more things if it is not organized. So, when the home is organized, it is very easy for you to pick the things. Yes. Because you know, uh, you know, which is there in what place. Yes. And you can go directly go to that place and you can get it. Instead, you know, whatever you are keeping in your bedroom, you are keeping in your uh, living room and then your living re room things are misplaced in another room. So, if, if at all you want to get some item, is it possible for you to get it very uh, easily, you will be able to pick it? No, no not at all. And Sometimes you to, I just want to leave it. <laughs> correct. Or you want to go out and buy it. No, no. Most of the times, uh, we misplace the things or like we, we, we keep the things in some other room. We yes. forget and we go on searching for where is it, where is it, where is it. Yes. So, that is the beauty of uh, organizing the things. If you properly organize, the accessibility becomes very easy. You can quickly go to that place and pick it and then you can use it. Uh, if, you, if you are finding lot of time to get the thing, your productivity actually comes down. Same thing apply, you know, the same technique actually. It is applied in big, big industries mm -hmm. that they have lot of tools yes. to work and to make the, when the production is happening, so many tools are there. If you misplace here, there, everywhere, if lot of time goes on searching for these tools, mm -hmm. The, the productivity comes down drastically. Uh, so, they, they very properly, systematically organized. There are different systems for organizing this thing. So, similarly, you have the computer. And in computer, there are so many folders. Why do we create everything like, you know, related to one things in one folder? Or say like, the, you know, I'll tell you, there are two people, one person, they will just save, you know, here, there, this folder, that folder, something in desktop, something in C drive, D drive, all that thing. Anyway, just like that, not caring. Another person, okay, all accounts related, C drive, okay, all spending related, D drive, or all, you know, per so and so material related in this folder, all the purchases in this uh, folder. What is the difference? From from first person to second person. If it is organized, if he want any file, then he will easily access it. If it is not organized, it will be a tough job for him to find where the file is. It becomes very horrible when you are not organized. It becomes very easy when you are organized. Yeah. Same thing applies in life. Yes. When things are in flow, when you are, have organized properly, that's why many people do lot of planning. It, it, the spontaneity is also very important yes. at the same time uh, the organizing the things properly setting up the things is most important same thing is applied in academics too right so what we do in the organizing step is the child read a lot of data now uh, so much three two three hundred pages it is read right now child knows it but if you just leave it like that child will forget it after some time but here we tell the child okay now what is that particular word from that paragraph that is containing maximum information about that paragraph? Okay. So, pick the keywords, important words or triggering words and then put them together like a main point, sub point, sub sub point. Say like if the lesson is there about 10 to 15 pages, so all the 10 to 15 pages will be converted into 2 to 3 pages using these keywords. Okay. So, it is now properly organized. And then, uh, whatever this is, uh, the, 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 we call it actually kind of point structure or main points. So, these points, we convert that into the image. Okay. First, the lesson is there in 15 pages uh, when the child is reading. Now, when it is compressed, it is only uh, two or three pages. Later, it is only one single page. We call it mind maps. Okay. So, you just see that mind maps, you know what is there in that entire lesson. So, this is called organizing. So, now the same thing properly we need to organize in the brain memory also. Okay. 
now what is the difficulty with the children today is they go to school first period they say math second period they say they teach english third period is something else so child is like you know you go to any class the the black board is there you write english upon that you write math upon that you write chemistry uh, without erasing or without the thing in very unorganized or highly unsystematic way what has to happen to the mind where they have to keep it so there is huge scope lot of scope for the confusion okay all is so much uh, the uh, you know uh, clumsy uh, yes so here we take one subject at a time we organize in the memory properly okay this is chapter 1 okay physics chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 chapter 5 properly in a systematic way it is there in so here uh, we organize the entire data very properly in a systematic way in the mind then comes the third step where we call it memorization okay now children have completed reading they, they have organized it whatever the mind maps they have done we make them to uh, repeat or uh, revise for next 40 days so these mind maps say like if 15 lessons are there in a textbook 15 pages 15 mind maps next 40 days daily they have to see that about three times so at the end of that 40th day actually 40 days is also not required 15 20 days is good enough for some children brilliant children mm-hmm. after this entire process is done so when this revision is completed by the time child completes the revision it is highly difficult to forget normally children they they just like that they forget it now here it it is impossible to forget mm-hmm. they remember just like that easy to remember difficult to forget so even in sleep you ask them what is the physics chapter 2 they will say motion and then you know five points of the five topics of the motion inside what are the other information everything continuously tuck 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 they will come and continue to say okay so they remember for lifetime and normally nowadays we know like this is very important thing i want to bring it to everybody's notice you have been studying or you have studied maybe graduation maybe whatever post graduation maybe post graduation something you have done in your life yes right now i want to put uh, this question straight to everyone how much percentage of uh, whatever you have studied do you remember today correct you have done graduation bsc or btech or whatever it is now if we give you the same examination do you pass will you be able to pass no and all the subjects that i have studied they were not actually useful for me right now correct and uh, okay forget about uh, you know passing if at all i have to ask you this question i mean can you remember the names of the subjects or the papers that you have studied in your graduation no way it is impossible some people they may remember the subject names but very, it is very few we can very remember few. but it is hard to recollect all the topics right i am not talking about the topics i am talking about uh, the the subject papers examination papers or the oh. subjects how many we had in the graduation okay. or whatever we have studied okay. most of the people they yeah, pa- we can yeah we can say yeah so some people they were get that to some people they may remember the subject names yeah. so then you know a lot of precious time is spent on uh, studying 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 for 22 23 25 years after couple of years of your uh, education after once you complete your graduation and then 2 uh, 3 years are passed what is happening to all the studies that you have done so why you have studied why you are studying why everybody is studying finally yes. shall i tell you why to forget we are studying to forget and then we claim that oh i am not getting this job i am not getting that job okay S- the child who has uh, now passed uh, you know the the graduation same child if we are giving them 12th standard paper will that child pass that difficult yes so we are simply studying and then all previous things we are forgetting what is the use of this this is not the proper education this is all simply certificate education it is like you know the system says even though you don't know we give you certificate that you know it <laughs> the actually child doesn't know but we give you certificate that you are engineer okay or you are this you are that foolish things we are doing so but this is not the same case with our uh, vedic education okay 
you go to any vedic pandit or ghana pati or anybody who has properly thoroughly learnt all the veda they spend about 12 to 15 years or anywhere depending on what sub, what uh, veda or what thing what they are taking even in sleep any time you ask they will say, they will recite the entire thing including that pitch okay including the grammar everything that's how the vedas have been passed from past 5000 10000 years to till today today, uh, today date we have the vedas it is 100% education from brain to brain this memory to next memory nothing the the veda whatever they are reading today same thing is read 5000 years back there is no difference not even simple single thing it is such a great thing with in our culture what was read 5000 years back 10000 year back same thing they are able to read same way 100% okay of course we have lost uh, some systems in between no doubt they they say that 1024 shakas used to be there but now hardly 9 10 shakas are there okay. but whatever is remaining that itself is something fantastic great thing that we have achieved what more we have to achieve what was there 10000 years back is there today just like that alive in the same form yes who yet. could sustain this like this in, in any culture correct so that is the importance of gurukul so we want to bring these academics in the same form that whatever the children are reading they are able to carry it for next rest of their life nice. they are able to remember very interesting based on this i have a very little doubt to ask you uh, why do you think uh, see the population of reading veda in our ancient days is really high and what do you, why do you think uh, it it kept on decreasing day, year by year well it is very 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 big topic <laughs> if at all we have to talk or we have to continue to talk about this we can discuss about this for hours and hours and hours why it happened like this yes so this has uh, happened basically due to this uh, english education act before uh, 17th century india was the richest country in the world yeah. you know people from globe different parts of the world they wanted to come to india uh, to do their to start their business just like now how we all want to so many of indians want to go to america and then see that uh, the house or the, how these students and everybody is so desperate to go there before 17th century all the people in the world they were desperate to come to india and see <laughs> such such was the culture richness everything was there here there was it was so richest place um uh, actually our mp shashi tharur he he wrote very nice book on this how much british looted from india uh, one uh, european university they have calculated they would have looted about 45 trillion dollars from india in this 200 years mm-hmm. our economy size today is 3 trillion dollars so systematically gurukul uh, system of learning was destroyed in india all gurukuls were forced to close by various uh, you know uh, by britishers or other people other people who came to rule uh, in this country mm-hmm. uh, so they uh, you know earlier all the skill used to be with gurukuls so they forced our gurukuls i mean they forced our uh, gurus to close the gurukuls they brought the english edu- english education uh, then uh, we had to depend on their uh, jobs basically from uh, the east india company or uh, the british jobs that's where the job mindset came to india otherwise we, uh, earlier we were never job seekers we were always self sufficient people yes uh, now we are slowly reviving I hope that uh, we will be able to get back very soon sure so gopi ji i'm really happy that you shared your opinion about our ancient vedic culture and if we come back to the topic uh, like where do you exactly conduct this program well this year uh, we are uh, conducting this program in two locations basically one in bangalore the other one is in uh, hyderabad okay so in hyderabad again there are four different places we have okay. uh, the first place is kisara uh, in kisara again three different ashrams Uh, one is uh, ramakrishna mission ashram the other place is sai dhamam and regular place divya retreat we have 
it is all very near close in fact the divya retreat and ramakrishna mission they are together actually okay. uh, just about 100 acres of campus nature beautiful place and just about 400 meters from there it is in sai dhama one more place here we have near gandipet where uh, sachidananda yoga machine as sri venugopal swami mandir goshala uh, is there there we are going to have the young children camp which is for 8 to 12 years children also we are going to start the gurukulam um ved vedic gurukulam for the 6th uh, standard children oh okay uh really great guruji like very happy to know about this too and you have told like five different modules will be uh, included in this and you have told about one may i know what are the other four modules in this yeah very nice see these are, these are holidays basically summer holidays we can't bug the children always with academics 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 though they do it effortlessly very easily this is one part you know there is an examination part at the end okay uh, that is all in the academics first part okay. and then in the second module it is also related to academics but it is not like very boring part of reading or this kind of thing it is hands on activities applied learning like all maybe we you know if we take the cbsc books or state books or any textbook there are experiments mm-hmm. how to learn the things by doing practicals so especially in the nature we have got a huge scope to be with nature to learn practically okay. about math about science about so many things so the second module is applied learning where they get the practical approach towards the academics and even to the life how to apply whatever we are really learning in real life okay that is one more important point yes uh, if i ask you this thing you have all read uh, a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab where are you using this in your life <laughs> hardly na we don't deal with it right so like that there are so many things we learn unnecessarily and we don't use it how to apply whatever we are learning and there is no use if we are not applying yes it is just the simple thing it is just there okay yes. so that is second module uh, apply learning what we call it. and in fact these days many parents are actually realize that how how exactly all the subjects in their kids life is u- really useful for Correct. the future correct yes. right so to put that in uh, into the practicality uh, this module is designed uh, to see that ch- children are able to implement it okay and in fact we have got all the stethoscope or these that a lot of uh, lab equipment where uh, uh, the microscopes everything is there they can practically test mm-hmm. they can get that experience Uh, maybe the chemistry maybe the physics biology everything we have got the lab equipment yeah. so they learn practically this is the second module and then the third is adventure activities okay so we have like rock climbing grappling river crossing zip line trekking basically being with nature and uh, taking the challenges you know this uh, neuromuscular uh, uh, you know you go that uh, the coordination neuromuscular coordination Uh, related to that there are some activities how do you overcome the fear mm-hmm. you know child is climbing something now suddenly fear enters into the mind yes then actually the child has the ability to go up but fear stops so now the body and mind are going in opposite direction body has the ability strength but the mind is restricting yes. child falls into this thing so then what is the thing that the at that point of time the child has to do or anybody to that matter you are so strong you believed yourself that you can do it you went half way now you are just doubting yourself okay. i should not think about fear and i have to actually focus on what i can do so get back to yourself yes. pause relax take couple of breaths and then just see what you can really do when you relax then you will be able to go up again yes. so whatever they are learning through this adventure activity it is it is not just actually for the fun it is to apply that in real life okay to take up the challenges and to to be able to face the challenges courageously to make themselves ready so there are so many uh, uh, games designed in such a way that they learn so much out of it okay so there is a fun club and uh, challenges certain challenges are given uh, especially in the bangalore camp we have got so much to do with physical strength mm-hmm. also now uh, they they become very fit physically in this 30 days and uh, ch- some parents actually they complain uh, that you know our child weight has reduced this that everything yeah naturally they reduce why because earlier they were not doing the physical activity here every day they are doing lot of physical activity having activities is always good 
Correct. So along with this, uh, uh, the of course this is the uh, the third part. The first one is techniques, the academics. Second one is applied learning, and the third part is adventure activities. Third module, and the fourth module is uh, career guidance and counseling. Okay. So now you know there is a lot of confusion. What to do after tenth standard, or what should I become in your life, or how? So how to choose any career? How to select what suits me? This is one of the important thing. And so this counseling part is now slightly now picking up. Earlier nobody used to say anybody. Ah, yeah. Elder said MPC is good, so we joined MPC. Or somebody said, you know, you got lot of uh, opportunity in uh, civil engineering, so we joined civil engineering. Okay. It is not the right way to select the career. In the later phases, uh, because somebody said and you are not interested, you go to that civil engineering, you don't like it, and you are now forced to work. You are uh, you don't have the work uh, satisfaction. Yes. We should identify what the child is really able to do, what they are really interested in, what the the capabilities that are there in the child, how they can support the 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 child to get what he really wants. Okay. So we have to assess what are the strengths and weaknesses of the child, where the child is good at, where the child is not. So accordingly, based on that strengths, we can suggest okay, maybe if you take this career, you may do well. The person who is not doing well with the Arts, uh, you put them in the uh, okay. There are two brains basically. We say one is logical uh, brain and then uh, the the artistic brain, creative brain. Lo logical thinking we call it. Left brain, right brain we call it. So one has got to do with logic. The other one is creativity, calmness, everything artistic thing. People, those who are artistic, they are not much logical. Yes. Those who are logical, they are not much artistic. Obviously. So, if you notice that child is really able to do very well in art, why you push the child to go for the uh, this uh, science related things, yes. or you know uh, why so much like oh because there is a demand because so so and so says so why the child has to suffer? He comes and joins this so and so engineering. He doesn't uh, get interest on this. He says that I want to act in movie or I want to direct this or I want to do that. I want to learn music. I want to do that. But then here these books are all about maths, solving problems, solving this, solving so much. So how does the life look? Very horrible, na? Yes, correct. So not required. So we also counsel the parents about, you know, what is it? We have to make them understand. So those uh, abilities are identified and we have psychometric tests for that. Okay. So we assess the child. Then accordingly, we give some suggestions. It is not that that is the only thing. This this may, that's it. So okay. later on, they can achieve anything when they when see. If the human really you know takes it as a challenge and wants to get it, they will somehow get it. But they have to develop their skills. Okay. So how to develop that skills? In what direction they will be able to do? Uh, much better things. This is what is guided in the career guidance and counseling part. Very well said. Uh, see, based on these days, like it is very important for every parent should know what their kids are. And I also feel it is important uh, counseling sessions to be, to be given for the parents. It is foolishness to say that because I could not study, become the doctor, you become the doctor. <laughs> so foolish thing. Yes. We cannot see what is that majority of the parents impose on the child. I could not become aeronautical engineer, so you become the aeronautical they engineer. They will report their interests so, are on their kids. As if a child doesn't have any individuality or not. Sure. Correct. Child is a slave or what? <laughs> not right. Yes. So why to put them? So this counseling is given to the parents too and all to the children too. Okay. Uh, accordingly, they will go ahead in their life. Uh, see, if if something that you really, really like becomes your uh, profession, you will really enjoy that. Yes, you will enjoy the life. Life. There will be a meaning for your life. Yes. Otherwise, you will say, Ayo, I have worked so much in my life, but yet nothing. And whatever we do, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, success. Correct. So, uh, you know, getting or not getting, the result is not in our hand. Yes. In spite of uh, striving or doing our best, uh, anything can happen. That is, anyway, it is there. So, in that uncertain environment, why you push the child to become only this particular thing, in particular way? Correct. So, these parenting sessions are given to the parents as well. And parents actually go through a training program, uh, about uh, 15 days, uh, okay. daily about couple of hours. So, this is the fourth module. 
and the fifth module is very interesting and very important all these four uh, you know it is all related to do with the outside things this fifth one is culturing module it has got to do with the inside things okay. so here we cover so much in depth about uh, what is mind what is intellect what is happiness who are you why you know so there are so many questions unanswered questions why was i born uh, after death what will happen or is really god you know god is there or not or devil you know devils are there or not there are so many crazy questions maybe so many unrealistic questions unrealistic questions so all that will come to a halt at least you get the basic answers and this this is all fully very complex system to manage yes. with all so many things so here the parents as well as children both of them will go through this module and it is compulsory for the parents to attend this okay. the culturing part once they know how to manage their own self then they can guide or you know teach or tell to others so here you know especially we focus on the behavior okay the spiritual intelligence emotional intelligence mind management we have been managing so many things but how to balance myself when i am going through the tough time uh, how do i make self equip that i am able to come out of that very easily or how do i recognize myself that i am going through so and so phase okay see life is not always cake walk or sweet thing you have up and you have down you have good time you have bad time everything so the maturity comes when you are able to see the things equanimously mm-hmm. if you get carried away by happiness or if you get carried away by the sadness you are lost either you become a slave of that happiness or you get affected and get into depression with this sadness so how to balance this that strength that base to the life okay how to manage various uh, activities of life like various identities you are a mother at home you are a wife to a husband you are a daughter to uh, one mother uh, when you come you are a host here when you are in street uh, you are a passenger you are when you are watching you are an audience so uh, so many kinds of roles are there so how to perform all these roles optimally the best way now there are some people they do very well in business but they fail at home they are they will not be able to take care or give much uh, give time or this thing or that thing or some people they are good at certain things other things they are not able to manage so how to balance all these things is what we focus on this culturing module uh, so very well said sir uh, it sounds like both the parents and the children will be benefited in this program yes it is actually family program Oh, it is for the whole family. Our motto, our our vision is that creating happy family. It is a very fantastic program, and make sure your kid will definitely not miss this program. This is the contact number displayed on the screen. Make sure you call to the contact number and enroll your kid's seat. For more details, visit the website www. gurukul elp. com or our social media handles gurukul summer camps uh, Facebook or uh, the Instagram. there you will be able to get a uh, lot of details and uh, this year we will close the admissions by march 31st and there is a screening test take that immediately so that you will get to know whether your child can participate or you too can come thank you namaskaram wow that's really interesting thank you so much